Hey, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Looking to write PLC programs? Well, I got a great resource for you today. So let's go ahead and jump in here and get started. Okay, so the website is industrialtext.com. That's right, industrialtext, T E X T dot com. And this website right now, this page I pulled up, um, has their free training products okay so they have the plc primer some documents that you can use the glossary some symbols and some electrical relay diagrams okay so let's go ahead and get started the plc primer is a document it's about 14 pages that actually introduces plc programming to a beginner okay and it, if you're new to it this is a good resource. It gives you a generic overview, a basic understanding of PLCs, okay? Where they, where they, uh, how they're used in the logic, uh, inter an introductory. So it's just enough to kind of get your, get your uh, lips wet and, and understand the basics of it, okay? So it's a, just a 14 page intro. Okay, they have another document. This one's actually pretty, pretty helpful. And what it does is it takes, it's called the Glossary of Terms Used in, in Programmable Controller-Based Systems. And what it does is it basically uh, defines a lot of terms that you're going to hear used in your career. So this is a great resource um, to, to create a file, put it on your, on your desk, and, and take some time and read it and try to understand the terms, okay? Because you're going to run into these terms, almost every single one of them multiple times throughout your career especially being new and it'd be helpful if you know what the heck the terms meant right okay so what do we got next now we got something we got a little higher level right so this is a logic symbols truth table and equivalent ladder logic okay so what they've done is they've taken the ladder logic a truth table and die ladder diagram and all of these three right here are equal they're end gates okay so this is the truth table, the logic diagram, the ladder diagram for in it for and okay. This is your OR logic. This is your exclusive OR, your your uh, NAND um, logic, your NOR logic, and this is a basic introductory to the comparison of the three. Now, for a beginner. Some of this is going to be valuable. Some of it's going to be new. But at some point, you're going to run into this. Uh, and it'd be great to have a reference. And basically, to understand logic diagrams is to have a reference. And that's all this is this is giving you, okay? All right, so now what do we got? Electrical relay diagram and P and ID symbols. Now, it's not P, I, D. It's P and I, D. That would be your piping and instrumentation diagram symbols. Okay, so this is a great resource for understanding uh, your electrical diagram symbols right here. Okay, um, and, and if you're drawing electrical prints, this is a great resource. Then you have the P and ID symbols, just a couple of basic ones um, to under just so that you understand it. Then you have instrumentation, identification, lettering. This is actually pretty useful when you start working with P and ID diagrams to understand what these letters mean. All right, so very basic, very introductory, but useful, especially for a new person. All right, now uh, now we're into the meat of this resource. This is some really valuable stuff. So what we have is a form that a, that you can use to put your input and output listing. Now, this is a basic form. This by itself doesn't really help you, right? Ah, but they thought about that. So what they did is they gave you an example of what it would look like if if they used for in a project that that they used uh, this format so that's very very helpful so it's an io listing and they filled one out so that you would have an example of how to use this form okay all right so let's go ahead and go down now we have a plc automation project notes form now this is not filled out so what you have is you got eight different note options and you can make use this form to make notes for anything that you want Okay, but again, what they do is use a little basic um, documents uh, example here. So they don't put a lot, any real info here, but if you're building a project and you're wanting to make notes for an analog IO, go ahead and make your notes in this form, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna put it into a file, and then you can hand this off to junior engineers, 
junior electricians, programmers. You can hand it up to senior engineers to manage it. You can use it as reference notes. So these are great resources. All you're doing in this form is you're going to de you're determining rather it's uh, you know, system description, power, discrete analog, uh, special circuit, I.O., registers and arrays. All that info can be put here. Just the, the sentence, the description of what's going on, okay? All right, so now we have another form. This is a great form. This is, this is a valuable form right here. This is our PLC program listing, right? So we got program ID, system designer, and right here you're going to begin to build your PLC program. And, and this is valuable because you can start making notes before you start um, programming a project. You can start making these notes here and, and, and adjust them. You can, you can write it. You can throw it away. This is valuable when you do a kickoff meeting, when you start to meet with the client, you're talking with your boss, talking with other engineers and or uh, uh, project principals. This is a valuable form. And again... What's great is they give you a great sample of how they used this form and how you can use it. So it's a really valuable, valuable, valuable resource. What I do is recommend you go there, print these off, and study them. Okay. Now here we got register and word internal output uh, usage listing. So you have this form also. And again, they give you an example of how that's used. Now that's the end of the forms. Here's the thing, though. Keep this in mind. The best way to understand how to use these forms is to use these forms. You're going to maybe change it, modify it, maybe create your own form. It doesn't matter. These are great documents to use when you're starting to scope out a project, all right? You're starting to put some notes together. You're meeting with the client. You're talking with your boss. You're talking with other engineers. This is a really valuable set of documents that you can start putting that information into, all right? So... I just want to share this resource. I use documents just like this or very similar to these documents as I'm putting my notes, especially during like a kickoff meeting, other uh, early meetings. Then I can refer to these notes as I sit down and start writing out the pro uh, the program or building my, my electrical prints or HMI. So very simple, very simple, but really valuable, especially for a new person, all right? You don't, a lot of times, you don't start in a meeting by uh, typing out a project. What you do is you got to make notes, take those notes, and then go back and sit down and then write your project out, your program. These are some documents that will help you organize your thoughts. All right? So until next time, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Hey, you guys know what to do. If this is the first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified every single time that we put out a video. And if you have any questions, put them down below. I'd love to help you out. So until next time, keep programming, my friends.